What's up guys? It's me again, Sir Ernest, and today we're going to continue our discussion on spherical coordinate system. Okay, just a brief recap. Here we define the relationship between the Cartesian components of your position vector r with the r theta phi components of your spherical coordinate system. And we also did some relationship or express some relationship between the unit vector in the spherical coordinate system and the unit vector in the Cartesian coordinate system. Now in this video, we're going to express the element dl, d tau, which is your volume element, as well as your area element dA in spherical coordinate system. Now, uh, let's start with dl. So the unit length, okay, can be expressed in terms of its direction. So for example, in the r hat direction, the dl in the r hat direction is given by dr. Okay? So if this is your r, uh, and then if this point moves here along the direction of r, this is dr. Okay? Along the theta components, dl and the theta will be similar to your arc length. So for example, if this is r and then this point move infinitesimally along the direction of r theta hat, okay, so this is dl theta and if this is also r, this infinitesimal angular displacement is d theta. So therefore, this dl theta would be r d theta. And lastly, in the phi hat component, the infinitesimal length along that direction, along this direction, so for example, this is your, remember this is r sine theta, so if this is r sine theta, and then this point move along the direction of phi hat, so this will still be r sine theta. So this infinitesimal length is dl phi, which is also an arc length. So that means it's r sine theta. Uh, this angle is the phi. So this is the phi. So therefore, dl is now given by dr r hat plus r d theta theta hat plus r sine theta d phi. Okay? Now, the volume element, on the other hand, is now the product of dr, a dlr, dl theta, dl phi, which is equal to r squared sine theta dr d theta d phi. And lastly, for your uh, infinitesimal area element VA, okay, we have two options. Now, the first option is that, so for example, this is your Cartesian coordinate system X, Y, and Z. Okay, so there are several ways that you can uh, get the uh, area. So for example, if you have a sphere okay and then this is the equatorial plane of the sphere. Now, if we want to know the area element on the surface of the sphere, what we can do is we just project the area element like this. So 
So this area element is what we call your first DA. Now, if this is a vector sign, that vector sign or the direction of DA in this case, let's call this DA1, is pointing perpendicular to the surface. So this is DA vector 1. Okay. So of this direction, this is actually D, this direction is theta hat, uh, theta hat. So this is D L theta. And then this length is actually D L phi. So therefore, the area element T A1 is equal to D L phi times D L I'm uh, sorry, D L theta times D L phi times R hat. Remember, this is pointing away from the center, which is equal to R squared sine theta D theta D phi R hat. We can also do another area element. In this case, if we're going to look at the projection here. So in this case, our projection will be on the xy direction. Okay? So uh, this side is the L phi. And then this side will be the R, a uh, DLR sine theta. Oh, sorry, DLR. Uh, D yeah, that's, the, that's D L R. Sorry about that. Okay, so this is now given by DLR, D L phi. Oh, sorry, this should be, um, and this is only D phi. This is only D phi. Yes, this is wrong. This is only D, D phi. So the answer here is, we can double check it later when we try to integrate this using the range that I talked about earlier and you'll be able to get the surface area of a sphere and the area of a circle. Anyway, just to finish this up, this is the LR uh, Yeah, oh, sorry, the, the uh, Yeah, this is dr. Ah, uh, sorry, this is r, dr, d phi, and the direction is v hat. Okay. Now you see this range. R is from zero to, let's say, capital R, and then theta is from zero to pi. And then phi is equal to 0 to 2 pi. Okay, using these two area elements, this will yield to a total area of 4 pi r squared, where r is the radius of your sphere. While this will give you a total an area which is equal to pi r squared. Okay, so that will be your challenge. On the other hand, if you're going to integrate this uh, element 
uh, volume dito. This will give you a total volume of 4 thirds pi r cubed. Okay. So, please remember the uh, L of volume, uh, the uh, unit length, unit volume, and the unit area in spherical coordinate system because we're going to use them very frequently as we do some examples in electrostatics as well as in magnetostatics this term. Okay? So, I hope you learned something today. And I'll see you guys in the next video where we're going to talk about the vector derivatives gradient, divergence, and curl, as well as the Laplacian in spherical coordinate system. Okay? So, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!